Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to create a custom slideshow. This is what we're creating right here. This one I have it created in a Dawn team but I also have it on the debut team and it does work the same as the Dawn team. You can use any team you want. It should work most of the Shopify team. I'm going to show you the slides right here. Um, this is the first slides with a uh, blur. So every design have their own um, badge, their own title, their own subtitle, a button label, or an, and a button link. And also you can have different um, design. I have 12 in here, but I have um, a normal and also one, design one and two are quite the same, but they're just an opposite to each other. And you can also have an image filter, which is uh, normal blur, contrast, grayscale, hue, brightness, invert, opacity, and saturate, and also sepia. So you can play on those um, image uh, filter. And you can also have different description placement. You can have center, 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 left, top right, top left, bottom right, and bottom left. I do want to let you know that not all designs have this application that you can manipulate the description placement it really depends on the design so in here this is the design one design two design three design four uh, design five design six design seven design eight Design 9, Design 10, Design 11, and Design 12. So Design 12 is a video. You can upload an internal video from your desktop or you can also have a YouTube. But you have to set the slide design into Design 12 to be able to have this design. So even though you put a link in here on the design one it's not going to work so only for design 12 and you have an option to have it on autoplay and the pause button should show here this also works with the smartphones or the mobile view and it should not have a problem Okay, and then also for the video, you have to have it on mute when you want it on autoplay. So I did have it on autoplay and let's start on creating this um, custom slideshow. So to start, we have to go to our online store. So right here, online store, and then you go to teams and you can edit your live team, but I do uh, advise you to duplicate your code. So to duplicate your code, you go click actions and then edit code and then work on the duplicated code. But for me, I'm going to start with a fresh dawn here. I'm going to click actions and then edit code. And then let's expand our screen right here by clicking this button. And then we're going to work on the section folder. So, so we're going to open the sections folder and then we're going to create a new section. So this one I'm going to name custom uh, slideshow. And then create a section and then we're going to go to our website and we're going to copy this code right here all the way to uh, end schema so control c to copy and then we're going to highlight this one and delete it and then control v to paste and click save next we're going to go to our asset folder we're going to create a file for our style sheet so add a new asset and then create a blank file and this one we're going to name custom dash slideshow and then add a new asset and let's open our newly created um, custom slideshow that css and then open that and we're going to go to our website again and we're going to go copy this code control c and then we're going to paste it here control v to paste and click save so your custom dash slideshow should match on 
this uh, custom dash title that CSS because this is the way of calling the asset. And in here, if you read some of the code, you will figure out that there is an animation duration requirement. So every designs have their own animation duration. So if you decide to just use the design with a one second, then I would suggest you go all the way to the schema. So look for schema right here and then look for this interval. And then I do set it in the minimum of five seconds, but you can change it to one. And then the maximum is nine, but in the range, the maximum you can have, I believe is 101. So you can change those. And also on the design 10, if we go on our design right here. So if we go to design 10, so our design 10 is, so this is first, um, let's go to our design 10. So design 10 is this one. The circle has its own placement. So I did put a comment here on how to adjust it. So this is the one from left to right. So you can adjust the top and left up and down so you can work on those. And then also I do have a code that you can change here. The So if you go to the top, um, let me see. So this one. So if you go in here, you can change the colors that we've been using in this design. So this is the variable that I use in the code. You just have to change it right here, but you can always change the design. So I have it numbered and then it should be easy to read. Um, you can change those um, colors right here, the variable color and whatever you want. And um, I believe that's it. So let's go and customize our team. So. Click this customize team button right here. I'm just going to right click this one and create a new tab. And I'm going to just remove this sections right here. So add a new section. So we're going to look for custom slideshow. Custom slideshow right here. So I'm going to add a new slide. So this one, I'm going to try to add a video. So in here, we have to have an internal or a YouTube video URL. So to add a video from straight from your desktop, we have to go to our online store. So let's go back. So in here on uh, under the settings, so let's go out in here. So in here in under the settings, uh, the bot on the left bottom corner, click on that one and then open the files. And then you can upload a video that you want in here. So you can just have upload file and find the video you want to upload and then click open. And for me, I already have a video right here. So this one. So I have this coding sequence and you just have to click this copy link and then we'll go to our team. Control V to paste it here. And then we'll have to have design 12 here so we can see. So yes, that's how you add it from your desktop. But if you want a YouTube uh, video, you just have to go to YouTube and then cl and click the video you want. So right click and then copy the video URL. And then we're gonna go back to our Teams again. And then you can control A to delete this one and then control V to paste and it should work just the same way. And um, I believe uh, that's it. Let me know if you do have any question. Um, you can always reach me at chat with us. And thank you so much for watching. But don't forget to subscribe.